All righty. Hello, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> After a long time. It's been too long. Um, let's get right to it. So, a really fun, exciting new thing. I started a brand new Etsy store, another vintage store, and it is solely for handbags and purses, vintage handbags and purses, all over 20 years old as the Etsy rules are. So I wanted to um, show you some really fun standouts of my group. I mean, they're all so fantastic. It was really hard for me to pick, but um, let's get to it. So first and foremost, this amazing beauty it's got um it's like a wicker basket purse um obviously pretty large sizable um big enough to hold a picnic for one or two maybe if you're light eaters not like my husband and i we have to bring like five bags for one picnic that's just how we do things in the Lorenz Olsen home. But we can see some really cute little um, wicker rosettes, some nice uh, yarn embroidery on it, and it's just fabulous. I couldn't say no to this one. All right, and then, oh, I really like this one because I think, I, I personally have a obsession with weddings, and uh, I think this would be an amazing uh gift for any vintage inspired bride. It's a beautiful pearl beaded um, little clutch uh, made in Japan, uh, definitely from the 50s or 60s, uh, with these beautiful little roses and oh, it's just, it's really, really beautiful. And then, oh, I like this one. This is a little Chanel inspired number. Um, not, you know, nothing really exciting going here, but I really loved this chain that it's on this double chain and you can make it long and you can also um completely hide it on the inside you can pull it in completely and put it in your bag and voila it's clutch so i, I really like purses that can multitask and then what's another good one? Ooh love this one. I would be keeping this if my laptop were 15 inches. Alas, it is 17 inches, so it doesn't quite fit in this, but it, this is a wonderful 80s faux kind of alligator print black business bag. Just fabulous for any vintage inspired gal. It's rather large inside. It's got a, a good... Um, possibility for expansion so it, it, it goes out like it it stores flat and it's also nice and well made so your um your laptop isn't gonna get bruised or anything like that not that laptops get bruised but you know what i mean roughed up in any way um and then let's choose oh i loved this one look at this beautiful gold lame um, I'm pretty sure 60s bag. Um, it's gorgeously lined. I mean, it's an impeccable condition. Uh, it has the brass feet on the bottom. And I like it because the size is actually pretty large. You can, you can fit a good amount of stuff in there. Perfect for going out on the town. And I like it because even though the strap is short, you can still put it on your shoulder and it's, and it doesn't look supremely awkward. Um, or you can, of course, hold it like a handbag. And then, okay, I have to show you guys this one. So, this, I actually have up on my Wild Honey Pie Vintage site, but I'm going to transfer it to my Savoy Truffle. Oh, by the way, that's the name of it, Savoy Truffle Vintage Handbags. Um, we're keeping with the Beatles theme, uh, another obsession of mine, the Beatles. I was named after a Beatles song, so I thought... Hey, why not? Gotta keep with the Beatles theme. I turned out okay. So, um, I really fell in love with this. This is a 1940s um, small little handbag. Uh, it's uh, covered in a sheared suede, and I'm pretty sure it's beaver suede, um, because it just, it, it has a fineness to it that cow suede doesn't have. And um, you open it up, and it's a, uh, I believe it's gold craft, Yes, gold, no, sorry, gold crest is the maker of the bag. And I really, there's just something special about it because EB was my um, great-grandmother's initials, Eileen Bowers. And so I thought, you know what, 
even if this doesn't sell, I would love to have this in my home, just kind of as a remembrance of her. She was a wonderful, sweet lady, and um, that, that's a wonderful thing about vintage is that it, it's really evocative of history and people you love, and I just love things like this. So that this is in the shop, I would be willing to part with it, but if it doesn't go, I'm fine with keeping it. <laughs> So, um, this past weekend was filled with uh, South by Southwest. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people came to Austin uh, for this incredible, um, just arts-filled festival. There's film, there's incredible amounts of music. I mean, Kanye West and Jay-Z and Jack White and, I mean, a huge range of uh, musical acts came uh, and called Austin their home for a couple of days, so I had a bunch of fun. I was working actually a merchandise booth at a really nice hotel downtown. So I got to see a bunch of bands, and it was a lot of fun. Um, oh man, I got to do <laughs> some really insane people watching and vintage spotting. It was, it was amazing. I mean, the hipsters were out in force. <laughs> but I had a great time, got some good inspiration. I mean, man, the 70s, the 70s are back, that's for sure. That's That was like the overall theme, Ray-Bans and 70s. So <laughs> I'll leave you with that. Um, go get your Ray-Bans and go buy your bell-bottoms because it is all coming back in. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Hope this video didn't go too terribly long, and um, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.